Welcome to another edition of Addington News and Darren Williams, it's all about this in particular this week here at Addington Raceway. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, uh, the meeting will be won at COVID level two. Um, we bit more awkward around the rest of the country, of course, and for our, our mates there at Auckland running a premier under level three, it's not uh, pleasant and not what everyone wants to do, but we all want to do the right thing and do exactly what we should do to keep everyone safe. And as we always say, the main thing is to keep racing. Yeah, for sure. So let's touch on the protocols. We know them very well here at Addington Raceway. We went through a couple of months where we had to deal with this. Yeah, well, that was one of the reasons, of course, that HRNZ just used those four venues to start with so that we were repeating the same thing each week and the participants got used to what was going on. And hey, Greg, they were really good. They couldn't have been more helpful. Um, probably not wrapped about going back into it, but neither, neither is anyone, uh, but we just need to do what we need to do. So the meeting this uh, Friday effectively becomes, if you like, behind closed doors with the only group that are included in the working bubble being the owners. Uh, the owners for the uh, New Zealand Metropolitan meeting on Friday will have all been sent an email this morning that they respond to um, and just tell us who's coming on course. Um, the owners will be in spectators under level two, they're allowed to go and see their horse, so they'll be still able to go into the stables. And effectively, that's the only group that will be on course, apart from the participants. Um, we're not having members here this time, and we just assess those week by week, and meeting by meeting, and level by level, to see what we can do to make that work. We didn't have an excessive amount of trackside bookings this week, and most of those people have cancelled because they know we're in level two, as have unfortunately the functions that we had booked. Um, so we didn't have an easy bubble that we could add the members to. So we want to try and accommodate people if we can. We can with groups of 100, we just need to be careful. So yeah, as far as this week, just effectively behind doors with the participants and the owners. The other main thing, Darren, is the early start, 11 minutes past three. Yeah, so just some movement of the galloping meetings meant that there was an opportunity for us to take what is Martin's spot at Awapuni on the Friday afternoon. We were happy to do that. Um, it means that the races are exported at a slightly better time into Australia for, for us, which is great. And it does mean that we can create some space away from the Premier meeting at Auckland and work with them to, to give them the best opportunity as hey, well. Hey, they've, they've got seven group races and yeah. we've just done the box seat. Michael and Ice is a decent preview there. It'd be worth having a look at as well. And Craig Thompson will be in the studio too. So, you know, we want the Auckland Trotting Club to have a very good night and Addington leading into that, I think, is, uh, is very important. Just on Sunday, Cheviot race here. It's the down by the seaside uh, Leonard Memorial, and of course the Cheviot Cup. So a few things up in the air there in terms of what our Prime Minister does, probably will hopefully know by Friday. Yeah, so uh, Cheviot effectively, uh, you know, they've got a big day planned. Um, unfortunate if things are extended and we were at level two, more information would come out, but effectively it would be the same operation that we're having at Addington this Friday. Some information would go out to the owners and we'd just be behind closed doors with that group of people. Hopefully that's not the case. The rugby's here it's on, a the, really on busy, Sunday. It's a really busy, really busy place. Netball's here as well. And, uh, you know, we've got all sorts of activity and spectators and things planned. So look, let's hope that that's not the case. If it was, then more information would come out to the owners and the participants about what would happen with Cheviot. And of course, we'll know that as soon as everyone else does. Just back to Friday night, or afternoon as it is, we've got a heck of a race. Race number two sees the return of a couple of Smarties, one still the show, uh, and also AG's White Sox is in there too. And Classy Brigade is our video watch horse, if you like. Didn't win the derby, but gee, went close. He goes round and race two on Friday. Yeah, so we're just going to leave you. We've got the derby coming up with one of our premieres. Uh, premieres, of course, 26th of March and the 9th of April, Easter Saturday sandwich between them. The derby... Um, the Diamond Creek New Zealand Derby on the 9th of April. So we're going to leave you with Lazarus's Derby where he gets up and runs down Classy Brigade. Don't forget we're starting at 11 minutes past three. Classy Brigade goes round and race two. So don't tune in at five o'clock and think what's happened four races are over. So get amongst it early on. Have a look at this on the way out. Rain, but he was here last week too. Two lengths, Beniccio, then Shandale and Stroke of Luck. Third quarter, 28.6. Classy Brigade, half a length on Lazarus. They've got it between them again. Classy Brigade ahead. Lazarus is going to outgun him though. He swept past Lazarus. He is simply a star. And they are rock and roll dance. New Zealand derby to Lazarus. Beat Classy Brigade and Shandale. Stroke of